And Jamie, it's not going to be flipping the switch and our economy getting back on track and all of us getting back to work. This is going to take some time and it likely isn't going to happen by the end of our current stay at home order on May 4th. The governor clear that we've made some progress, but right now we just can't let off the pedal. We have had some success with our social distancing. The efforts of people that are so difficult are having a positive impact. Uh, number two, uh, we're not at a level where we can take off social distancing, nor are we extremely close to a level where we can take off social distancing. And number three, if we do take off social distancing, we are going to see a rebounding of this virus and more fatalities even than we are experiencing today. Well, here's some of the data the governor is looking at when he's telling us about our future under COVID-19. This from the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation out of UW, showing that if we had stopped social distancing measures on April 10th, so five days ago, that light purple line would show that our deaths would start to increase versus the decrease that we've been seeing in our region. And even if we waited a little bit longer and stopped the social distancing measures we're doing, in a week from now, April 22nd, that's that darker blue purple line there on the bottom that still shows no matter when we let up our social distancing in the next month, it wouldn't be enough and deaths would continue to go up. Now, if we can turn to the next chart right here, this one is from IDM showing some of the success that the governor has talked about that our daily positive cases here in the Washington area, area really plateaued. So talking about flattening that curve, well, we've come to a plateau. The governor says what we haven't done is been able to get that growth to go down from there. But if we started relaxing the measures that we're experiencing right now in our state, as painful as they are to our economy, we'd see there in the light gray, those cases would start to skyrocket in May, which is why the governor says we have to continue what we're doing for the time being. Uh, our producer shot some video in one of our neighborhoods showing the hopefulness that some business owners had had when they first closed their businesses, thinking that they might be able to come back, saying, see you back in April. Now we know that's not going to be the case, obviously, as we continue this path of the stay home order, at least until May 4th and likely longer, because Jamie, as the governor had said, even when we do start to relax these restrictions, which is still going to be some time before that happens, it's not going to be everything off all at once, but it is going to be a slow, methodical approach approach toward our new type of normal here in Washington state. Jamie, back to you. All right, Simone, thank you.